Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Pace Edwards Switchblade retractable hard tonneau cover right here on our 2015 Ram 1500. So this is a canister style hard tonneau cover that can retract. What does that all mean? Well, we'll talk about that in this video where we compare it with some different types of tonneau cover options for your truck. I personally am a huge fan of this. This is going to be a premium tonneau cover because you have the security of a hard tonneau cover with the portability of a soft tonneau cover. Now your canister is gonna take up a little bit of space inside of your truck bed, but it is pretty low profile, so it doesn't take up that much. We'll take those side dimensions in a bit. With it in the closed position, this doesn't take up any space above your truck bed other than towards the cab, so it's very low profile. Also, your tailgate is locking this tonneau cover. So with your tailgate locked, so is your tonneau cover. It cannot be opened from above. You have a very low profile base for the rails as well without taking up too much space to the side of your truck bed. That means if you want to use your stake pockets, add your accessories, you can still do so. Now the top cover does take up a little bit more space. It's a bit higher up since it is covering your canister, but even then it does not go above where the bottom of your window is. And you also have all that space for your front stake pocket. To open it, just lower your tailgate and then you have an easy access latch towards the center. Pull that latch and your tonneau cover retracts. The tonneau cover just slides back and forth smoothly across the rails, which is how you have that full security all throughout. Now here we have our canister. So measuring for the space left underneath the canister, to the bottom of the truck bed, it sits at 12 inches or exactly one foot. Now the canister takes up a length of 13 inches of your truck bed. So if you have a longer bed or a shorter bed, make sure you use our fit guide to get the right length for you. And that's how much length or space you will lose inside of that truck bed for your larger cargo. Now what about the height of the cargo you may want to carry? Let's say you have a fifth wheel hitch on the inside of your truck bed. So the height from the truck bed to the bottom of the rail is going to be 19 and a quarter inches. That's how high of a cargo you can stack up in here before you hit the tonneau cover. Now for the clamps, you do have two clamps on each side and the knob does stick out about a quarter of an inch past where your tailgate goes. Since it's retractable, you saw how quickly it retracted, which is awesome if you want quick and easy access into your truck bed. But you also have this pull strap, which you can use to pull on the tonneau cover in order to close it. Once you let go, it automatically slides back though. So compared to some other tonneau covers, I can think of retracts as an example. Some of them can be locked in the halfway position. This one automatically reverts to either the open or the closed position. While you are limited to only those two configurations, fully open or fully closed, I really like how it all works in those configurations. With it fully open, it's all nice and secure and you do have good access to your truck bed. With it closed, you can see how it automatically latches. I didn't have to put much of effort into latching it into place. It's also super easy to unlatch it. So compared to some other tonneau covers, we have to go to one side, then you have to go to the other in order to open and close your tonneau cover. This one makes it pretty easy to use. Now the install process is super duper easy, no drilling required unless maybe you have spray and liner or drop in bed liner and that you have to drill through, but you can utilize the drain holes of your Ram 1500. The only tools I needed to make this work was we've got our tape measure here to make sure everything's square. I actually use the utility knife to cut out those drain holes, Phillips screwdriver, and a 716th wrench or socket. So technically no drilling involved with a factory truck bed. Now let's take a look at that. Before I install the tonneau cover, what I actually do is just check out the drain hole situation. You are gonna have to make sure you have somewhere to put these drain tubes for your tonneau cover. Your Ram 1500 actually has a factory drain hole. 
In our case here though, we do have spray in liner. So we are gonna have to get through that spray in liner to get to that hole. So if you don't have those drain holes, go ahead. You will have to cut through or drill through that metal. And if you do have those drain holes, what I actually do is I just cut around the liner and then I cut an opening inside the rubber plugs that will fit the drain hole. And your next step is to get your canister into your truck bed. You have this pull strap, which we actually used as a carry handle. I wrapped it around our canister twice, and then I'm gonna use this other edge as a handle in order to lift this up and into our truck bed. I'm just gonna set this facing our cab. You can see how we have these flanges so that it can rest right over there. You're then going to get your rails and there's gonna be protective paper on the underside of the foam. So just go ahead and take that out. Don't worry, it's not an adhesive, it's just for packaging purposes. You're then gonna line it up with your cover and you're just gonna feed the cover in through the rails. You're gonna to have to lift this up a bit and then push it back and forth just to get it all lined up. Try to do this on the other side too. Get that rail lined up with this guide and then you're gonna secure it from underneath. You're gonna have this bolt. You're then gonna put a split washer and then a flat washer and secure it from underneath. Once you've got that threaded on there, you're then gonna use a 7 16 inch wrench or socket to tighten that down. We're going to attach our clamps and there is actually an opening here where your clamps can fit into. So just get that in line and then you're gonna wanna get it parallel to the rail so that you can slide it forward or backward depending on which clamp you need to get lined up. So this is just gonna slide through. Slide it through so it's right beside the plate and that's how you know where you need to clamp it down. Next, you're gonna secure the back part of your clamp with this knob. So I put a split washer and a flat washer on that knob. I got this back part of the clamp where it's against our truck bed. And then you're then gonna put that knob through and secure it with this barrel nut in the back. So you have another opening towards your tailgate too for your different clamps. And then what I did is I used a split washer and a flat washer on top of my knob. That knob is gonna go through your back clamp. So then this can actually adjust up and down to get a better fit onto your truck bed rail. So we have that fit there. And then we're gonna secure it with that clamp. We're using a barrel nut here in the back in order to hold everything in place. So just tighten that down. And next we're gonna install the kickstands on the tailgate ends of our rails. So there's actually two orientations. For our Ram 1500, we needed to use the longer orientation. That's where the nut is on this side, closer to where the stand is. The shorter orientation, which is probably how your um, clamps will arrive is where the nut is on this side and then the clamp or your kickstand will be on the other side. So make sure your clamps look like this. We're gonna fit our kickstand right through our clamp grip. There's a hole perfectly for it. And we're just gonna adjust our kickstand so it's nice and flat against our truck bed. And before we fully tighten it down, let's get this wing nut in place. So again, we're gonna put a flat washer and then we're gonna put a split washer and then get that wing nut there and then make sure you tighten it until that split washer flattens out. And now continue to tighten that kickstand down against your bed wall, making sure there's a good amount of pressure against your foot. Now attached to your top cover is the lubricant that is recommended for using with your tonneau cover. Please don't use alcohol-based cleaners. And this is gonna go onto the top strip 
which is your sweep seal. And then you also have this strip on the bottom. So I just recommend using that lubricant there every now and then. And now you're ready to install the drain tube. So this should already be set up with a foam washer and then just locate the hole underneath the caster and then put the other end through the drain hole in your truck bed. Now you're ready to attach the top cover. So notice how we're trying to line up the holes here on top and also how we have the rubber strip facing out towards the cab. Then drop the four black screws through those holes and secure it with a Phillips head screwdriver. You're gonna have this four inch hook and loop strip. So this is gonna be a pair for the strip on your pull strap. So what you can do is you can pick your driver's side or the passenger side, find a spot that you think will be good to store this at then you can take the adhesive off and store it there. That way, when you're ready to pull your tonneau cover, you take it from its storage spot and then you pull. So that's pretty much everything there is to installing your tonneau cover. Just double check everything. So just open and close your tonneau cover. You can hear it latch into place. Double check that you can close your tailgate and that everything is square that your seams are all on the outside. This looks great. And this right here was a look at our Pace Edwards Switchblade Retractable Hard Tonneau Cover right here on our 2015 Ram 1500. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.